Hi everybody, it's Murray from Beast Plus and Kamloops. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a walkaway split. So when you're going to make a walkaway split, that's whenever you're going to make a split your hive without buying or adding a queen to it. You're going to let them make their own queen. So as you can see, I've already brought some stuff here, bottom board, inner cover, outer cover, a couple extra boxes of frames. Whenever you go to do a split or do anything in your bee yard, always go prepared. So this hive here is pretty strong and it's at the point where I want to split it. So it's really easy to do. Just again, just remove everything. And your top box here, you're gonna have, you're assuming these boxes here, this is a dead hive so there's no bees in it, but you're gonna be assuming that this box is full of bees. Both boxes are great full of bees. So there's gonna be a queen in there, but you don't know if she's in the top or the bottom. So that's where the walkway split really shines because you don't have to try and find that queen. All you do is you take this top box here, you pull a frame or two out of there, just pull a frame out and inspect it and see what there is on there. What you want to see is fresh eggs. So if you have fresh eggs and brood, then you're, you're ready to do your split. So then just split your hive apart. Have your bottom board ready over here. I like to put my entrance the opposite way of the parent hive. So you just take this hive box off and you just set it on top of your new bottom board. That happens to be a screen bottom board that I make. That's what I prefer. So that's what that is. So now this hive might have the queen in it and it might not. So you want to do the same thing here. You want to pull a couple frames and make sure you have some fresh eggs. If you don't have fresh eggs in here, that could mean the queen is there. So you want to take a frame out of there and put a switch of frames. So make sure you have fresh eggs in both boxes. Once that is done, this box, remember, this hive here was getting ready to swarm. So it's a strong hive and one way or another, they're going to keep building. So whenever you get to this point here, you want to add another box. If you went away and just left that and the queen is there, she's going to be out of room or run out of room really soon and you're going to just have other problems like swarming. So whenever you add this box, I like to add a box with some foundation in it and with some drawn honeycomb in it. So if it has drawn comb and the queen is there, she'll grow it up and start laying. You can put just all foundation, but it just slows things down. So once that is done, and that hive is taken care of, you put the lid on that one. This one here, you do the same thing. Put your second box on there. Your inner cover. And your outer cover. So now you've just split your hive the easy way without having to buy a queen. So you saved yourself anywhere from $40 to $50. Or if you haven't made queens, you haven't had to do that. The bees will do it themselves. So now what I do is I like to go back in about a week and check both hives just to see what they're doing. Sometimes you'll see right away the other box is started already. So if the queen is in this one, there'll be new eggs. The bees will be moving up in there and doing great in your new hive. If the queen isn't there, you'll still be making queen cells. So that's what you want them to do. So just walk away and leave it. It will take a while for them to build the queen cells and for the queen cells to develop. So you're looking at 16 to 18 days and then the queen will hatch. Then once the queen hatches, she has to go get bred and then come back to the hive and start laying eggs. So it will take some time, so you have to be patient. So go back in about three weeks again three weeks after the initial split and just have another look and make sure everything's okay and if it is then just leave it and you've got your two hives made from one without buying a queen. Now a lot of people are afraid to make a walkaway split because they think they're going to kill their hive. Well you're either going to have a strong one here because the queen's in it or a strong one there because the queen's in it. So you still have your parent hive you've just prevented it from swarming and given it more room. So now let's assume this hive was queenless and they didn't make a queen for some reason or if they did make a queen 
she went out, she didn't come back, she got killed, or whatever happened to her, that is queenless. So you go back in there in a month, and nothing's happening. There's no eggs, the bees are just agitated, and there's, there's no queen. So it's really quite simple. If, if you don't want to try again, you can just simply put that box back on top of this one. Or you can go back in this box, take another frame out that has fresh eggs on it, remove one of the frames in there that doesn't have anything on it, put your frame in there with fresh eggs, and they'll start to process over. The only thing is, it will set you back. But you will have a strong hive in the end, because it will be a new queen. And everybody likes to try and push a season. Don't be trying this in, in April. April is too early, it's too cold, things aren't really happening. The bees are just bringing, bringing pollen in. There's really no nectar in our area. Our area. Camel's area, there's really no nectar yet. There's lots of pollen, but no nectar. So unless you're really feeding that hive, it's not gonna really prosper. So that's how easy it is to do a walkaway split. I hope you enjoyed it and go ahead and try and do it. You'll see it works really well. Thanks for watching and remember down on the bottom there's a like button and subscribe. Thank you.